This is gonna be a love reading for Scorpio. What we see from the cards is that someone who so far kept their feelings for you to themselves, now they're finally finding the strength to come forward and tell you how they really feel. We see with the first card, the Seven of Swords, that this person for maybe a long time kept a secret to themselves. You see right here in this picture that they're trying to sneak away in the night with something that maybe doesn't belong to them. And more specifically, what we see here is that this person felt almost ashamed to admit specific things. This might be someone who's usually not really outgoing, someone who has a hard time telling other people how they feel. Maybe they never told anyone in their life, I love you. They never had to show affection to someone. And perhaps no one has ever even told them, I love you. I see also from their parents that this kind of affection was never really there. And so for someone that grows up like this, it's always really complicated to just come forward and say how they really feel. And so often they find themselves lying about things in order to hide what is that they really think about a person, what is that they really feel for them. And in fact, my attention goes immediately to these two clarifier cards that we have here. We see, in fact, from these two cards that to them giving their heart, it's like having to hike this mountain right here. It feels as a huge challenge, as something that to them, it's really not easy to do. Open their heart, letting someone new in, for this person really seems as the biggest challenge ever. And I really believe that this comes from things that have happened in the past to them. Again, it could be the family or it could be toxic relationships that this person had, or maybe they were taking advantage of them. And so right now they find themselves in this position where it's just hard to opening their heart to trust someone new and just tell them how they feel. And we see that in this case, they do have something that they're hiding from you, which it is making me think that also by seeing the other cards, now they do have feelings for you. And they are aware of this problem they have, they are aware of the situation. And so what they're trying to do here is to reach that balance where they can feel good about the fact that they're telling someone the truth about their heart. And with the King of Cups, we have a message that talks about someone who is able to control their emotions, to control the way they feel, even when things are not going well. The King of Cups has learned how to handle those situations that could be painful and for some people could be really destructive. And so right here we see their struggle into being like this, their strive and maybe also their attempts to embody this energy, which is really taking them to places they've never been before, making them feel at times very tired, wanting to give up and just wanting to keep this seven of swords energy where they know that it's just easier if they hide everything and not expose themselves too much. But if maybe in the past they succeeded at this, right now instead, they don't really have an option. In fact, with the lovers showing up here, we can see that this connection that they feel for you, it's way too strong to keep doing whatever it is that they have done till now. The lovers appears only when the other person feels a very strong connection due to the fact that they believe you might be their soulmate, they believe you balance them and you give them everything that they don't have. And this is telling us that the way they see you is someone really outgoing, someone who instead has no too much trouble showing their effect to other people. And when they see that from you, they just wish they were the same way. And since they can right now, they just fall for the idea of being with you, having someone like you by their side. And overall, they see that that connection between the two of you 
brings them balance and brings the best out of them. They feel that when they're with you, regardless of the fact that you might just be grabbing a coffee together, doing something small, it doesn't matter. They just feel that they're better when they're with you. And as soon as they're not with you anymore, they just go back to their old self. And in a way, they're hating themselves. They don't want to be like that. And they're trying to change those things that they know are not making them happy. And they're asking the universe to please give you to them so that they can go through this process even easier. And with the hangman showing up here, we can see that this love and feelings that they have for you, they've been having them for a while. For the longest time they felt stuck, not being able to tell you how they really feel, not being able to progress in their life, in their love life. They almost felt as though they were a robot, waking up in the morning, going to work, maybe seeing you at work or after work, or maybe just seeing you online at the end of the day, and then just going to bed and doing the same thing the day after. No progress, nothing changing around them, nothing positive happening because they're not getting out of their comfort zone. They're not trying very hard to completely change the situation. But there are some changes showing up. We see them in fact with the Two of Cups. And right here we can imagine that maybe they will talk to you, maybe you will talk to them. With the Two of Cups, we definitely know that you also will have an attraction towards them. And so maybe because you will understand what's really happening, maybe after seeing this video or after seeing few signs from them that they're really struggling in order to get your attention and sometimes maybe in an acute way as well. Nevertheless, this connection will start. And I see as if you are trying to tell them that everything will be fine. With the Two of Cups, we have two people that are starting off something new, but still, by still being very cautious. Let's spend time together, let's get to know each other, let's see where this can go, no expectations, no obligations. But the both of you want those expectations and want those obligations because this connection is actually turning out to be very strong. But it's starting like this only because maybe you don't want to scare them or because they don't want to scare you, trying still to not expose themselves too much. But although here everything is quite positive, we do have an obstacle coming in with the Nine of Swords. This doesn't have to be anything major, but it is something that is going to change the course of the events right after this card a little bit. Again, this is not saying that this won't be able to happen or that there is something else going on from them that you might not know about. It's just a little obstacle, something that the cards are telling you don't make him ruin everything that you have so far because this does have the potential to be beautiful. And in the extended reading, I'm gonna draw a few more cards to understand more about this Nine of Swords. But also, if you wanna know how the energies will evolve at the end of the month, make sure to leave a comment, hashtag dash follow up down below.